ABC Steve here, Flipside CT. Thanks for joining me. Uh, my last video, I had a uh, record show uh, from New Haven, some finds from there, and um, hopefully you could check that out. Some cool things in there. I didn't get a chance to show an album that I showed from uh, my <coughs> last video, which was Cluster and Eno. Um, this is a uh, German uh, version. Uh, just great Eno stuff. Also I mentioned about Hollywood Brats and uh, I mentioned a book and I did come in. This is from, from England, this book, uh, from Amazon. And this is the story uh, by the lead singer Andrew Matheson and it's the disastrous story of Britain's great lost punk band. So uh, check them out. I showed them on the last video but this is really some cool things. Uh, looking forward to uh, checking out this glam punk band story. Um, so I went to uh, Wesleyan University uh, about a week and a half ago or so, and uh, it's a uh, show by a radio station <clears throat> at the university, and um, just fun. I uh, went with a buddy of mine, uh, two buddies, uh, and also met you know a couple of VC members. Uh, um, <sighs> yeah, it, it just. <laughs> Uh, Brandon and uh, Tom. Uh, I think that's all I saw there. Anyway, uh, I got this book. This is El Cid, St. Vicious. This one didn't get a good write-up. I didn't look it up when I was there. I was just excited to see it. It was only a few dollars with uh, the uh, funky looking Cid there. And this book uh, is something I always uh, wanted to read up on, on this guy. You love him or you hate him. Wild Years, The Music and the Myth of Tom Waits. Um, this is uh, a cool f book to find. Um, I don't, I didn't even know this existed. So uh, good stuff there. Okay, um, jumping right in. The best of Isaac Hayes. <clears throat> and <clears throat> I got some blues here. Um, I'll go quick. I don't want to be pigeonholed as being uh, the blues guy. There's definitely some blues guys out there in the VC who are much better enthusiasts and uh, knowledgeable. Um, I just love it because of the roots and basically, uh, you know, Americana. Um, and just having a collection of blues stuff is really important, uh, especially for the foundation. And especially uh, when Keith Richards comes to my house and Jimmy Page, not at the same time, just one at a time. I'll be able to show them some blues, and uh, I think they'll they'll sit down and tap their foot a little. So uh, that's one reason, another reason why I'm getting these. Um, so the Great Bluesman. This is a uh, Vanguard, just old style blues. Uh, Big Bill Bronzy, Fred McDowell, uh, Sun Sunhouse, Sonny Terry, uh, Muddy's on here. So this a comp. You know, you got to get blues comps if you want to get into the blues. You'll hear all different styles, <clears throat> Delta, Chicago, Texas, uh, it's all happening, cool stuff. Chuck Berry, back home. Uh, Chuck Berry, San Francisco Dues. And the song, Oh Louisiana, cool song. live in concert you know many of these albums I never seen this one so I picked it up it was just a few dollars the typical songs are on here uh, and pretty decent quality here uh, he goes riffing in the, in this uh, in this concert you know he's doing some jams and it's really cool to, to hear um, this is the album to get from Albert King born under a bad sign this was a $12 album uh, has some writing in the back but Man, this is a this is cool album, and I and I think some of you guys know know about this. This is from a, a Stax record, a 1967. This one I didn't care for. Albert King, King Albert, a little too uh, not bluesy for me. Not enough. The original Blues Brothers, Buddy Guy and Junior Wells. 
This was taken from the actual first recording in 1964 in Chicago Blues Festival of Junior Wells and Buddy Guy playing for the first time. Recording is not great, which I was a little disappointed, but uh, it's pretty historic. Okay, jumping into uh, another genre, Mink DeVille. This is um, you know from CBGB time frame, the house band. He he's well liked. Uh, you know, has some great music, great style, and cool guy still going, I believe. This is a comp album. Sawa Fair. I was in the crowd, I was in the blood bank, I was standing in line. And there she was, she was checking my count. But somehow I got to make her mind. Yeah, somehow I got to make her mind. Hanoi Rocks, back to Mystery City, still collecting some Hanoi, uh, Michael Monroe, a great front man, still cranking, doing solo work with Steve Conti, uh, check his recent stuff out, it's such a, he could put a song together, pretty, pretty cool, um, but uh, this, I love this sound, and when you see Link Ray, you gotta grab it, whatever you can, these are uh, two Link Ray albums, and Flip side albums, uh, B sides. Other songs, uh, Link Ray, fun to have. And, um, now a little different, Hunters and Collectors, uh, an Australian band, uh, Human Frailty. Uh, this is like their fourth album. These guys are just so cool. I think this is just really one of their better albums. I don't see this, it's from 86. Um, like I said, an Australian band, really good. Really good stuff. Okay, from, um, from Canada, uh, Cowboy Junkies. I don't see this album around, The Caution Horses. Uh, this might be their fourth one from uh, 80, uh, from 1990. Okay. <laughs> uh, they play Powder Finger on here. So it's good. they just are great musicians. I love this sound. Um, they can do no wrong for me. Straight in the eye Guess you forgot to close the blind last night Oh, that's right I forgot it was me uh, Ansley Dunbar Retaliation Watch a chain Watch and chain uh, Pop blues This is a import from France uh, Blues rock uh, Ansley Dunbar I'm sitting here crying Waiting for my heart to mend songs well put together. I took a shot at this. I uh, wasn't sure what I was getting. Uh, I gotta listen to this more but it didn't click for me so I'll figure out what to do. The Great Concert of Charles Mingus, a triple album. Ella Fitzgerald sings the Gershwin songbook. Uh, the original soundtrack album, Wild Wild Winter, and The Astronauts, and 
Jane Americans and Bo Brummels and etc. etc. Uh, and the uh, B side is just some instrumentals, just a fun album. Uh, as you can see, it's uh, definitely 60s. I don't I don't know the, the movie. Um, okay, so this genre is now jumping into a uh, little punk side. Um, this album, uh, I love this band. Uh, I think this guy is great. He's so talented. Um, sometimes he gets a little on the same parallel um, as Robert Smith of The Cure. I wanted the first, the second and third album. And I actually got it in one package here. This is a double album of 17 Seconds and Faith. And this is just so good. Um, this, you know, the post-punk uh, sound, whatever you want to call it, goth. I don't know what you'll call it. I just, I just like it. If you're into The Cure, this is something that's really you need to pick up. I was just listening to it uh, with headphones on, and it's so well produced, so cool. And here's a band I've been wanting to get on uh, my list. Um, this album is, I think, from 1990. It's a compilation of the Peel Sessions uh, from a band called The Ruts. The Ruts were formed in 77. And um, they went. They saw the Pistols live, and that just influenced them. So they put together. If you like the Clash, you're gonna like this band. Uh, I'm not saying they're exactly like the Clash, but they really run parallel. Uh, reggae, punk, um, and just good, good sound and good musicians. And it's such great thing to hear when these guys. Uh, when I put this on, um, the, the the quality is real, real cool. Very impressed. The songs are great. You might know the song. If you want to look up uh, Babylon's Burning, that's a song you probably hear, heard. But uh, Malcolm Owen, he died of a, of a heroin, heroin overdose. They were really anti-drugs at one point. Um, but, uh, uh, yeah, that was pretty sad. This is a comp compilation of uh, Peel Sessions, there are like three of them, and this is The Ruts. Um, here's a comp album. Uh, I've never seen this, but I heard that it was around uh, History of Punk, Burning Ambitions, and this is a double album. This is an import. And the cover probably looks familiar, but uh, a little bit uh, readjustments made here. So this has a, you know, a double album, and the bands are just so cool. Buzzcocks, The Fall, The Wire, 101ers, 999, Adverts, um, Slaughter the Dogs, etc., Generation X, Heartbreakers. Just, I've never seen this, and, and I think this really touches a lot of the, uh, the history. And Side 4 is a little too hard for me. I mean, it has a Dead Kennedys on it, so uh, it's not just totally UK here. Uh, has exploited. I like the Dick Kennedy song Holloway, Holiday in Cambodia. It was just classic. Uh, they exploited a little too hard for me. Um, but really, this is a really cool album that I found. Uh, thank you, Malcolm, if you're watching by chance. <laughs> um, this was an upgrade, and this album is going up in price, I've noticed. Uh, when you talk about punk, you talk about Ramones, but these guys uh, should be mentioned in the same sentence. The Dead Boys, Young, Loud, and Snotty. 
uh, Stiv Babers, you know, Cheetah Chrome, uh, Jimmy Zero, Johnny Blitz. Um, the, this album is just pure, pure energy. Uh, it's up there like with a Niggy Pop. Of course, Stiv was a big Iggy fan, but uh, you know some of the um, the Stooges sound. Just pure, great punk music. Uh, out of Akron, Ohio, um, they just went out, came over to New York and hit the scene running. But uh, they went some bad directions, so it was pretty sad. Uh, anyway, I think uh, Cheetah's still active. Of course, Stiv died, and uh, I forget about the other ones. And the last thing is a uh, 2003 album, uh, a comp album. It's an import from uh, Italy. And uh, this is Johnny, Johnny Thunders, Born to Lose. Um, really cool sounding album uh, as far as quality. That's it. Uh, I hope you, uh, you got something out of there. Uh, I'll be going probably to a record store. Um, WFMU is coming up at the end of April. And uh, it's in the story of Queens. If you're in the area, if you can make it to this show, go. It's a three-day show. You're guaranteed you're going to walk out of there smiling. Um, it's fantastic. I'll be probably going Saturday uh, if I could do it. Um, thank you.